Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a requested video and this is my everyday makeup routine. I've already done a whole video on a more full coverage, um, long lasting foundation video which I will link in the description box below. But this is kind of a lighter thing that I do every day and it kind of depends how much time I have as to how much makeup I put on. I'm normally in a rush, kind of dashing on, putting throwing makeup all over my face but this is what I mainly do. So I hope you find this video helpful and let's get started. Okay, so I normally start off with concealer and this is the Collection 2001 in um, Fair, this is the Lasting Perfection one, I really like this one. And the reason I do um, kind of my concealer first on an everyday basis is so that I don't have to apply so much foundation. And also I find that this concealer is a little bit light um, when I put it on top of my foundation. So if I put it before, then everything blends together a bit better. I'm just using my finger to blend this in. And then there's three foundations that I kind of mix up and use on an everyday basis. So the first one is the Dr. Jart Regenerating BB Cream. This is my probably my most used one on an everyday basis because it has an inbuilt moisturising SPF as well as other ingredients that are good for your skin. So this is the one I use most, but um, I'm not going to use this one today just because there's basically nothing left in the tube. The second one is the Bourjois Healthy Mix one. And I really like this because it gives quite a nice finish to the skin, gives it a bit more glow and a bit more life. So this is the one I'm going to be using today to show you. And then the last one is the heaviest coverage and this is the Revlon Color Stay one. And I have it in the oily slash combination formula. And I'd use this one if I'm having like a bad skin day and need a bit more coverage. Or if I'm going to be out for a long time, I know that I'm going to need my foundation to last well into the evening. Because this is the one you can rely on to last a long time. So the one I'm going to be using is the Healthy Mix one, and I have this in shade 51 if you're interested. Let's just pop a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I really like the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. This is kind of the fastest way I find to apply foundation. So I just dot it onto the brush and then into the skin. And then as I go, I'm just kind of using circular motions to blend it all in. I forgot to say that um, before I did any of my makeup, I just washed my face and then I applied the Daily Essentials Express Hydration Primer by Nivea. So if you want to know more, I've done a full review on my blog, which I'll link below. But I just use this because it's a moisturiser and a primer in one, so it's nice and quick in the morning. Then the next thing I do is to set my makeup with Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I just have the translucent version, and then just with a fluffy powder brush. If you've seen my full coverage... Um, long lasting makeup tutorial then you'll know that um, I use a powder puff there and then really press into the skin rather than sweeping over like this but because I'm normally rushed in the morning I just sweep it down um, my t-zone mainly and then just a little bit over where I've applied concealer so that it lasts a bit longer. Then onto blusher and I like the Rimmel Santa Rose blusher because it's a nice peachy pink colour. This is the one I use absolutely every single day. I don't bother with um, highlighter or bronzer every day, just for more special occasions because I don't have time. So I like to apply this on the apples of my cheeks and then blend it back up towards my temples. Onto eye makeup and the amount of eye makeup I usually wear depends on how much of a rush I'm in. Um, normally um, I get up just before I'm about to leave so I'll just throw on a couple of coats of mascara and go out the door but if I do have a little bit extra time um, I like to do a bit of eyeshadow so I prime my eye with a MAC paint pot this is in Painterly I pretty much use my Naked palette every day just because it's the easiest um, to get right first time rather than messing around with experimenting with other colours so I like using this colour here which is Sin it's just a light champagne pink colour and this goes with basically every outfit, so I don't have to worry about coordinating anything. Then if I realise I'm running out of time and I'm going to be late, um, I just use a black eyeshadow like uh, this one here, and just on a liner brush to line my upper lash line. But usually if I have, um, if I'm on, on time, <laughs> meaning I'm only running slightly late, then I'll use a gel liner, this is a Maybelline one, just on an angled liner brush. And I just line... My upper lash line here. So I like to start from the middle and then work my way out. 
and I've done a full video on different types um, or different ways you can line your eyes so I'll link that in the description if you want some more help and then I usually leave my lower lash line completely clear just because I find lots of line and smudge underneath my eyes even if they're like a waterproof formula and it's just too much hassle <laughs> every day so I save that for and I don't do any flicks or anything because I would probably mess it up first thing in the morning so after that I just curl my eyelashes without trying to take my eye out in the speed I'm going at in the morning but I usually do this just because I think it really makes a difference to my lashes and also makes the mascara apply better and then I'm currently liking Maybelline The Falsies and this is the waterproof formula just because again it's going to last all day on me I don't like to touch up my makeup throughout the day really what I put on in the morning is what I come home with unless I'm having a super long day in which case I take a little bit with me but not much okay finally on to lips and most days I'll just apply a lip balm or something but if I do have a bit of extra time then I'll use the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Stay uh, Gloss Stick even in Plum Jam and it's super quick to apply so this is my finished everyday makeup this is what I wear pretty much every day just variations depending on how much time I have not really going for anything wow just looking pretty average on a daily basis so hope you've enjoyed this video if you did then um, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know what you thought and if you haven't already then click the subscribe button so that you can see when I upload more videos thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon bye Hi everyone, welcome back. It seems ages since I filmed a tutorial, especially like a celebrity kind of.